Hello and welcome to the session techies. My name is Jogesh Kumar. In last session on Jenkins, we have talked about Jenkins basics, how we can configure Jenkins jobs. This session is going to be on Jenkins scheduling. Things we are going to cover there are how you can schedule a job, what is the benefit of Jenkins scheduling over the Unix cron, and how you can create a job. Basically, we are going to have a quick lab. So let's begin this session. So first of all, what is Jenkins job scheduling? Guys, we all know Jenkins is very popular and widely used CICD tools by the enterprises. Many times there are requirements to kick off jobs at certain times. In the Unix world, operation and application teams make use of cron utility. Though in my opinion, if you got Jenkins servers in your setup, don't use cron or I would prefer Jenkins for job scheduling. Jenkins schedule jobs are generally used for monitoring and updating the system resources. Also many times, scheduling is used when you want to schedule the backup of application, backup of database, or you want to take backup of some application configuration, for example. Uh, another thing, Jenkins offer a simple way to start jobs on a schedule, which is quite similar to way we use cron in Unix environments. Jenkins scheduling got a couple of benefits over the cron though, and they are Jenkins got better logging mechanism. When I say logging, what it mean now? Let's say you have configured a cron job in your Unix server. You will be notable to check like uh, what are the cron logs. If you have configured something, okay, direct the output of this particular command to this file. In that case, you can uh, check the file. But to actually know whether that job got triggered successfully or any issue, like there may be some difficulties for you. But in case of Jenkins, you can uh, get the access to Jenkins log and you can check whether your job got triggered at right time or not. So you got uh, more control over your jobs. With cron, second job will get kicked off. Even first job get fails. For example, let's say you have configured two jobs in Unix cron. One to start at 3 o'clock, one at uh, 3.10. In that case, automatically the job which is scheduled to happen or start at 310, that will get triggered. But in case of Jenkins, you can create uh, dependencies. You can say if this job gets completed, then only trigger this job, which is also a scheduling thing. So that's another benefit of using Jenkins over cron. With cron, that works local within the system. Let's say you have configured a cron job locally that is local to that system. But in case of Jenkins, from a single server, or you can say you can use your Jenkins server as central scheduling manager, I can say, or central scheduling server. From that Jenkins server, you can have set of your uh, scheduled jobs, and you can kick those jobs on remote machines whenever you want. So you got uh, wider access to your jobs. As I mentioned, Jenkins jobs can be scheduled in integrated way. If one job successfully finished, then run this job. If that job not gets triggered or get finished due to some reason, then do this way or send email notification. That's a better way of managing the scheduled jobs with Jenkins. Next benefit, no separate management of cron access on Linux systems. Generally with cron, access is limited to a user if is allowed in the cron.lo file but in case of Jenkins that's not a limitation if you got access to Jenkins UI and uh, your user is configured to make use of scheduling then there is no separate access requirement on the Linux side which is uh, basically cron access when I say access that's cron access Jenkins job can be triggered using API calls because Jenkins got API support so you can easily kick off the job with API calls. Jenkins can better manage the secret. Uh, guys, what it mean? Uh, let's say you are running a scheduled job using cron. 
so you have hard coded your credentials somewhere which are not encrypted right uh, in most of scenarios with jenkins you can encrypt your uh, credentials you can store and uh, there is more safety if you use jenkins so that's something which is uh, jenkins benefit over normal chrome scheduling next thing we have to understand jenkins job scheduling types using jenkins scheduling following type of jobs can be triggered first job does not need remote access when i say remote access it mean uh, like user need to log into remote machine and do this stuff so there are jobs which will work with api calls for example if you are triggering a job which is to call aws cli or any api in that case you don't need to log into remote machine locally you can kick off the job by calling aws cli function right in that case those jobs don't need remote access the second type of job which need remote access they are uh, let's say you want to trigger a database backup of uh, a database running on remote system in that case jenkins need to log into remote machine then jenkins user or whatever user you configure that need to trigger the backup so that's access requirement on remote machine or another example i want to give let's say on your remote systems you want to check whether a particular service is running or not for that uh, you can check it uh, using web page whether what is the return code of uh, http that's a one way other way like you can log into machine and see whether that service is functional or not in case not and if you want to trigger the start of that service in that case you need access so this is a second type of job which need remote access so i'm going to cover like a job which need remote access in my lab session so it will give more clarity to you guys uh, how it works next important thing syntax of jenkins cron or jenkins scheduling is the right word or many times we use jenkins cron so first parameter is minute second parameter is hour then day of month then month then day of week these are the five parameters and in detail the first parameter like you can put 0 through 59 which are minutes in hour 0 to 23 in day of month 1 to 31 month in a year 1 to 12 day of the week 0 to 7 and sh for shortcuts if you put star it mean uh, for example you put star 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 five times it mean uh, joe will run after every minute you can also specify a range let's say if you specify 1-5 in the date of day of week what it mean it will consider it monday to friday in that case you can specify range that's similar to normal cron parameters so that's something uh, but only difference i can tell you in uh, unix cron we specify command or the job which need to trigger at that particular time in jenkins cron we only specify schedule the job which need to be executed that is specified in the job section i will come to that point uh, when i'm giving demo to you guys how you can schedule a job so it will give more clarity at that time in lab today we are going to schedule a job which will check the target server whether apache is running or not so i'm going to check whether apache service is running or not if service is down then jenkins will start the service so this is something lab and uh, jenkins user will need remote access on the target machine login access basically few prerequisites disable tty on the target machines for the jobs need sudo access because jenkins user can't start httpd we need sudo access for starting the httpd on remote machine so i have already configured sudo access then configure the ssh access for the jenkins user i am using default user which is jenkins so i have configured jenkins sudo uh, ssh access so jenkins user can log into remote machine appropriate sudo rules configured as i mentioned jenkins user cannot start the services so i have uh, 
configured sudo rule so jenkins can become root and kick off the service start to schedule a job basically you have to go to build trigger when you're creating a job there is uh, one option called build trigger in build trigger you can select the period you can enter like what is the frequency or when you want that job to execute it in this example i'm going to use bash script which will get executed on remote machine at particular time which is basically the schedule uh, this is a script where i am just ssh to this particular server db server one and uh, I will rename it from db server one to app server one. Just give me one sec, which will make. okay. I have renamed the server to app server one. Then the job is going to run. Uh, check whether httpd process is running or not. In case process not running, here I am saying if not running, then sudo use sudo start the process. If exit code is zero, then say Apache started. Else. If I'll say Apache start failed, if process is already running, say Apache already running, and I'm just closing the if else statement. And uh, this is a snippet of build trigger from Jenkins UI. In build trigger, like you specify here, I've specified h slash 15. It mean uh, hour, h mean hour slash 15. It mean uh, this job will automatically trigger after every 15 minutes. Star, 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 star mean uh, every day. So that's something which is to theory. Uh, let's go to technical session where I can give you a quick demo. So I have logged on to my Jenkins UI or user interface. So here I'm going to create a new job. So I'm clicking on new item. In item name, I'm saying uh, check Apache processes, something, whatever name relevant this is freestyle project because i'm not using any anything in particular and clicking on okay okay so next thing we have to do in description you can put this job is to check start the apache processes whatever description you want to put uh, this is not mandatory thing but it's always good to put something so you can remember okay and uh, after that you in build trigger as i mentioned to schedule a job you have to select this option which is build periodically when you select this you can specify the schedule in the schedule if you're not aware what to put like what is the format even i have discussed that but uh, in case you are not sure you can click on this help mark it will show you what are the options what you can specify what is supported what is not supported if you get time I just go through this this is very helpful so i'm just copying this particular bit where it is saying run the job after every 15 minutes okay uh one thing guys i want to do instead of 15 minutes because i don't want to wait for 50 minutes uh i'm saying run this job after three minutes after every three minutes so this job will automatically get triggered okay now if you see here it is saying the job will run at 11 15 sorry it is saying this is the current time and job will be triggered at 11 18 so that's something Jenkins is telling with this is the next schedule and scroll down this looks good and in the build uh, like this is a shell script I'm going to run so I'm saying execute shell and here in the command I can put my job so i'm just copy pasting the job which i created earlier doing sss to app server one and checking whether apache is running or not and i'm clicking apply i'm not saving yet so i'm i have just clicked apply and let me quickly log into my app server one this is my app server one so here let me check whether apache is running or not it's running so let me stop it so we can see uh, both ways how Jenkins is handling these jobs. I'm saying stop HTTPD. Okay, it's stop. Let's run pgrep. You can see Apache is not running now. So I'm minimizing this particular putty session and I'm clicking save. So after three minutes from now, this job will automatically get triggered. And uh, here 
you can click on the job right now there is no build history because job is scheduled to run after three minutes so i will pause this video for another three minutes then we can have a look so guys you can see uh, this job is finished and uh, status is green it was failing earlier so i have fixed uh, because in my code i was having one bit wrong i have corrected it i can show you uh, i have just selected the job which got finished i'm clicking on console output you can see this is the command which got executed on remote machine and status is apache already running so apache is already running uh, let me manually stop it again uh, here it's running let me stop it so right now no apache running and uh, this job will automatically get triggered uh, shortly so i will wait for this job to get triggered so we are on uh, seven next job would be number eight so i will wait okay you can see on screen uh, job number eight is running at its scheduled time means after three minute interval last job was at 11:27. this job is at 11:30. it got completed and status is blue which means successful so i'm clicking here to see the console output clicking on console output you can see apache started it means uh, this particular job found apache was not running on remote machine and it started it so let's quickly verify you can see processes are running now so that's the way jenkins take care of uh, starting the jobs or starting the processes if they are not running so that's scheduling guys another thing i want to tell you in this session it does not mean like you have scheduled a job you can't run it whenever you want you can trigger job at any time let's say next schedule is at 11 33 means after three minutes but i want to run it now i, I can simply click on build now and job will get scheduled you can see job number nine finished clicking here it should say apache already running this time because uh, apache was already in running state you can say apache already running so that's it uh, guys like in this way you can schedule the jobs i'm just uh, quickly taking you through again if you want to modify the frequency or schedule so just select your project this is your project and click on configure when you click on configure you will get all the configuration options here if you want to change the frequency from 3 to 30 you can do in this way or if you want to put some specific day you can do it and click on apply and save that's it so thanks for watching this video any query any suggestions just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you guys